We're going to have a little bit of fun today, taking a look at the nation's number one player in the class of 2016, Rashawn Gary, uh, the D big D lineman out of Paramus Catholic, is a kid that we're really familiar with here at Student Sports. We are lucky enough to see him when he kind of broke out as a freshman at the Nike camps, and then back again this May, back at the Nike camps, and uh, he was one of the three underclassmen invited to the opening as an underclassman this past year. Not only did he make the opening, but then once he got there, absolutely dominated. He ended up being named to the defensive lineman final five. So not only is he one of the top five D linemen in his class, he's one of the top five D linemen in high school, period. Doesn't matter, senior, junior, sophomore, he's one of those guys. He, he came in and uh, had a really impressive performance this July, which vaulted him up to scout.com's number one player in the country. Now, I'm the first one to tell you that rankings don't matter. You can't project the physical side of football from a 17, 18 year old to the NFL, it just doesn't work. There's too many things that change in that time. But the one thing you can project is the mental side. You may grow up a little bit, but I want you to take a look at the tape because the big thing that pops out is Gary is relentless. He plays with a motor that's unmatched on the field. This isn't the norm for a five star. Usually you see guys who take plays off and then maybe it's third and long and then get after the quarterback and they turn it on. But Rashawn's motor is running high all the time. And uh, that's what separates, and that's what makes him elite. That's what makes him the number one player in the country. And in my opinion, that's what makes him uh, once every 10 years kind of guy. I'd, I'd be shocked if Rashawn is not the number one player across all the rankings uh, when it comes to signing day 2016. Sure, Gary's a freak. We know that. He's 6'4", 287, 4'7", 4'40", 32-inch vert. He's got all the measurables, but what separates him is what you're seeing. He's diving over the, the huddle. He plays hard. And... Uh, these next two plays that are coming up are a pretty good microcosm of how he plays. First, he can get off the ball and he's going to run right by you. Then, on the next play, you'll see he takes a pretty talented right tackle, a good program in Don Bosco, and with a flick of the wrist, he's on his back and he's at the quarterback. Now, because I've seen him so much and he was 290 pounds as a freshman, I've always projected Rashawn as a defensive tackle. He's got the size, he can plug up the lanes, he's great against the run. but. What you're seeing on this tape is that he's really comfortable playing outside. He can really push the pocket and create an edge rush that, uh, I mean, I should have known it. He runs a 4.74, but you just don't imagine that coming from that size, so, someone that size. He's faster than most five star DNs. He's quicker than most five star DNs, and he's got better size than most five star D tackles. So this kid is really the full package and uh, is a guy who, as soon as he gets on a campus, he could really change what's going on there. I, we don't get into the recruiting side so much, but I'd be really happy if I'm the coach that ends up with this kid when it comes to uh, signing day 2016. We're excited to see it at the Nike camps next year and then uh, hopefully back at the opening as a uh, junior, senior to be next spring.